Hey, welcome back. It's great to have you here at 3 and one for our midweek worship. And uh, we hope again that you're following along with us on Sundays and uh, joining with us on community movie nights the third, the third Saturday of every month. Um, and uh, we certainly hope that you're, you're part of that. We are in our truth decay. The idea that truth is decaying in a society where we sometimes think truth is out there. You know, we, we got the disinformation folks and the real information folks. And the whole idea of the fact that somebody's claiming disinformation and real information would lead me to believe right away that somebody's manipulating. Well, last week we started on my truth, started on what's in our conscience. And we'd like to trust my truth, but maybe not. In fact, we can see in Ephesians in just a second where Paul finds that to be a problem. I don't know about you, but I sometimes have this love-hate relationship with my heart. There are some times that my heart, my conscience, it, it, it listens and it follows God's grace and it listens to, and it remembers God's word and it puts it out there and reminds me. But then there's times that something will happen and something will occur and I, can, I know, I know that I'm somehow creating my own truth. I'm trying to water down the gospel. It's a problem I see in the church all over. I see in our churches that we want people to like us. We want to fit in so we don't talk about repent of your sin. We don't talk about sin. And sometimes my heart does that. You know, sometimes the Holy Spirit builds me up and goes, no, this is God's way. And the other time the heart says, shh, Holy Spirit, be quiet. You know, I also really struggle with that, but I, I, I understand that despite all the times I've prayed, all the sermons I've preached, all the lessons I've taught, all the groups I've been in, all, all the FCA events, whatever they are, sometimes my heart wants to do what it wants to do because we are human and are sinful in nature. Sin is part of our nature. Understand, Paul wrote that, and he writes this in Ephesians. He says, you must no longer live as the Gentiles do. In the futility of their thinking, they are darkened in their understanding. They are separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Ephesians 4, verses 17 and, and, and uh, 18. You see, the source of the problem, he says, is in them, in us. It's, it's, it's there. And, and we try to work with it. We, we, we do our best to, to learn our scriptures and, and trust the Lord and all those things. But the humbling reality is that our hearts cannot be completely trusted. Our hearts are going to tell us to want things that we shouldn't have. We know it, but we don't like to deny it. As we said last week, we want our own truth. We want to play God. We need to be careful when we find a church, find a Bible study, find a group, that that church and that study is not telling us it's all for us. Because it's not. The point is we are always to be brought back to God's word. Sure, we can trust our, our, our heart on a lot of things, and most of the time maybe, maybe it's even right. But there are times that, that it is not. And if the heart always gets the final vote, which I believe is where we've reached in some of our churches, the heart, well, but it feels right. Okay. But does it make it right? Is it right according to God's word? Just because it feels right, we must always bring it back to the word. Said, 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 said John Wesley always said, scripture above all other things. Hopefully, you are working on your truth rooted in God's word. Come join us in the battle. Come join us in, in, in the struggle. See you next time.